Greetings UFIC members, supporters and followers of this ministry. I hope this recording finds you very well and uh, my apologies for the poor audio and picture quality as I've had to use my phone to record. I've been cleared by the prophets to bring you this said announcement. Please note that this is not the press statement promised by Prophet Imanyo Makandiwa. That one is yet to come to set the record straight. But um, today, because of the love that the Prophet has for you, he would not want to leave you uninformed. There's been an unfortunate theft of church property at the Christ TV studios. If you remember, the same thing happened over two years ago where founders of other ministries would connive with an insider to bring out uh, footage of their interest and uh, when this matter was addressed publicly in church the concerned Christ TV staff chose not to return for work uh, we haven't seen them since but uh, this time the operation was carried out at a much greater and devastating and destructive scale this ministry he has seen more than half its important and confidential assets being taken away. These assets include 571 hard drives. Yes, you heard me right. 571 hard drives. With recordings stretching as far back as 2013. These hard drives have uh, all prophecies by Prophet Imanyo Makandiwa, most of which are yet to be fulfilled. Um, there are also healings there and uh, of course teachings, videos of uh, charity work, uh, pastor's seminars and leader seminars, uh, videos of building projects, counseling sessions, which of course those you know are confidential stuff, not meant for the public. All that was taken and is in the hands of those who always wished us ill. The ministry has since engaged the police and investigations are underway as we speak. It is unfortunate that uh, some members of Christ TV are being questioned as we speak, especially in this case where the stolen material was in lockers that are fully secured. We have since furnished the police with the information that we have and uh, prophetic wisdom is also helping us as the prophet has given information on how the enemy intends to use such property against the ministry. As you know, despite what you perceive as prophets, you still cannot um, take the law into your own hands. We believe in God's protection and also the involvement of the police. We will, at this point in time, avoid giving out details that might hinder the physical investigative processes. As you know, prophetic advice, prophetic evidence is not admissible in a court of law. To those that might doubt the prophetic because of this unfortunate event, be reminded that the founding apostles lost even their lives, and not just properties in our case, so should that imply the absence of God in their time? I really don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe in your prayers and support. We promise to come and give you more details and information as we receive such. Also, it's unfortunate that under these circumstances, we regret to advise that we will not have our usual service this coming Sunday. Until then, stay strong and be blessed. Shalom.